So we're cleaning, taking apart this brake relay valve to see what's going on. The diaphragm is actually in good shape in there. It was really dirty though. The whole rag is all just crap that Tyler wiped off of the diaphragm on there. Uh, and you can see how dirty it is in here. And where all this stuff is caught up on the edges, that was stopping it from sealing there. So we're just gonna clean it all out and hopefully put it back together and should be good to go. This is the brake relay valve. all cleaned up good you can see all that caked on gookness <laughs> everything used to be built to be repairable you can see all that crap it's just had a contaminated air system for a while down there but we'll get it all cleaned up good Starting to see daylight through there. <laughs> okay, so we got that all back together. Hopefully that will work out just fine. And then we're draining the differential. And that came out of there. Stick your finger up in that hole and see if you feel any more chunks like that around the hole. If you do, maybe just don't tell us. Yeah. All right, so this was the drain plug for the diff, and there was a few more chunks in it, and then that metal there. Uh, so I'm gonna take a wild guess and say that one tooth on the ring gear is probably missing. Yeah, but I don't know. One tooth is gone. I don't know that it's for sure a hay lance moment yet, because we always see a lot of metal debris in there like that. But, I mean, wherever this is, this is gonna cause accelerated wear, but, but not those chunks, yeah. And that does share the oil with that rear end and the bearings over here that were really, really bad. So some of that metal wear, not those big chunks, but that metal wear is from these bearings too. Alright, so I am not the greatest at free handing a drill bit sharp. Ooh, I just started creak. Yep, that's turning now. The bus stopped lifting. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing, man, how much torque they got on that thing. That's just seized over time. It's a steel, it's steel and aluminum. You can probably get it by hand now. Oh, okay, leaking some more here. Coolant was going in, but it's not going perfectly. <laughs> So we got everything uh, that we wanted to, for the most part, done today. Um, the differential is drained. We are obviously concerned about the condition of the differential there, but we'll see when we take it for a test drive. I mean, I'm, I'm assuming it's going to be fine to get it home uh, back to Indy. And then if he wants to take it up to Michigan, uh, it's probably going to be fine for that. But it's going to need, excuse me, at some point to be looked at and probably replaced. Um, I mean, it wasn't something we wanted to see come out of there. Um, cooling system is filled. No more leaks. Uh, we got like uh, 16 gallons, I think, went in it today. Um, it'll probably bleed down a little bit more overnight, so we should get another gallon or two in there um, of coolant. And the transmission, we've changed the fluid in there. The differential was drained. We haven't added new fluid. We bought and bought a pump, a hand pump to do it today because he's got a five gallon bucket of it. And I didn't want to try to pour from a five gallon bucket into a differential or into another. It was just, been, so we got a pump for it. Um, oil change is done. Oil filters on, new fuel filters are on. Um, yeah, that cooling system running all those new hoses and stuff like that. If you watch Tyler's video, you'll see a lot of that on his uh, Indiana diesel. Uh, so tomorrow we're really going to check off a lot of things. Uh, that brake relay valve, that all got rebuilt. Um, that should be good to go. We
We haven't added air, air to the system yet, but that's the only air leak that we had yesterday. Um, I can't think what else, but yeah, tomorrow we're going to start greasing everything up and we should, uh, we got new brakes came in today, new brake shoes, we're going to put new brake shoes on the rears for sure, uh, new brake chambers and stuff like that. So we got to go through all that kind of stuff tomorrow, but uh, we should get a lot more done tomorrow. T today was kind of the heavy duty, hard stuff to do. Um, just a couple other little things, but it's getting there. The punch list is getting knocked down. Tyler, I think has a copy. Is that all on your video um, of the list? I don't know if he has that or not, but it's, it's getting there. I think I had it yesterday. I don't know if I have it today. That's what we've marked off. Okay. Yeah. But it's, it's getting there. Um, a lot of it, we didn't get necessarily marked off, but a lot of those things got mostly done. They just have a couple things left to finish up on it. Electrical system is going to be a little bit of a, a work because there's no, he's pulled all the brake lights and everything off of there. So I'm only concerned about brake lights, uh, turn signals, um, engine oil pressure and coolant temperature. That's the only things that I'm concerned with. And then obviously the air pressure gauge does work up front. We checked that yesterday. Um, but other than that, yeah, it's going good. We're almost done uh, with this stuff here today. Um, and then tomorrow, probably two more days, I think, maybe. That's maybe slightly optimistic, but uh, we'll see.